Good evening and welcome to the Tennessee Smokies Wicked Weed Brewing pregame show. I'm Ben Slotnick from the Smokies Baseball Broadcasting Center. We'll have Richie Giuliano and Rory Tedimer on the call live from AT&T Field for the opener of the second half of the Southern League season and the first of a six-game series between the visiting Tennessee Smokies, the AA affiliate of the Chicago Cubs, and the Chattanooga Lookouts, the AA affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch will be at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. The Tennessee Smokies broadcast pregame show is brought to you by Wicked Weed Brewing. Wicked Weed is the official craft beer of the Tennessee Smokies. Since 2012, Wicked Weed has been pushing the envelope, crafting unique beers with bold flavors for the four drinker. Find your new favorite at Smokies Stadium or at a local retailer. Last week, the Chattanooga Lookouts clinched the Southern League first half division title for the first time since 2017. The Smokies finished in second place just two games back from Chattanooga. It all came down to close games. A close game is considered one decided by three runs or fewer. 48 of Chattanooga's 68 first half games were close. They went 28 and 20. 42 of Tennessee's 68 first half games were close. They went 19 and 23 and lost four of their final five, which were all against Pensacola. Here's an overlook of the season series statistics through two completed six game series. The Smokies have out hit the lookouts in eight of 12 games and went six and two in those eight. The Smokies have outscored the lookouts by only five runs despite dominating the lookouts in major head to head offensive categories. The Smokies have 51 more total bases, 13 more extra base hits, and are hitting 276 at the plate while the lookouts have a 203 team batting average against the Smokies. Both teams are struggling when hitting with runners in scoring position against each other, both below the Mendoza line, in fact. Chattanooga is 24 for 128, hitting 185, while Tennessee is 22 for 117, hitting 188. Both teams have made 10 errors in the field through 12 completed games in this season series. The Smokies' longest game in the first half of the season came against Chattanooga, which took three hours and 21 minutes. Back on May 31st, Chattanooga and Tennessee combined for 31 hits, which is the most single-game combined hits in a Southern League game this season. Five of nine players in both starting lineups recorded a multi-hit game. The Lookouts ultimately won 9-5 to in 11 innings behind three home runs, a career high by Nick Northcutt. There's been notable roster moves made by both Tennessee and Chattanooga. Tennessee lost its star shortstop and the ace of their pitching rotation. Chattanooga also lost its star shortstop and two of its top three pitchers in the rotation. Former Smokey shortstop Luis Vasquez and Cubs number five prospect starting left-hander Jordan Wicks were promoted to AAA Iowa. Among qualified Southern League players, Vasquez was top 10 in batting average, hits, home runs, RBIs, and runs scored. Among qualified Southern League pitchers, Wicks had the sixth best ERA, seventh best opponent average, and second best whip. And for Chattanooga, former Lookouts shortstop, the number 18 prospect in Major League Baseball, Noel Vemarte, Reds number 10 prospect, starting right-hander Connor Phillips, and starting right-hander Christian Roa were all promoted to AAA Louisville. Among qualified players, Marte was top 10 in the Southern League in batting average and runs scored. Among qualified Southern League pitchers, Phillips had the fifth best ERA with a 3.34 earned run average and led the Southern League with 111 strikeouts and a 4 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio. Christian Roa was third in the Southern League with 87 strikeouts and a 199 opponent batting average. All right, it's time for a quick break and when we come back, we'll introduce tonight's starting lineups, team notes, and the Hampton Inn and Suites keys to the game. The Smokies baseball pregame show will continue after a quick break. 
Welcome back to the Tennessee Smokies Wicked Weed Brewing pregame show. I'm Ben Slotnick from the Smokies Baseball Broadcasting Center. The opener of a six-game series between the Smokies and Lookouts is coming up in just a few minutes, but first, it's time to introduce tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Tennessee Smokies, at 36-32 and 32 overall, they finished in second place in the Southern League North in the first half of the season. Leading off for the Smokies is the Cubs' top prospect, center fielder Pete Crow Armstrong. Batting second, making his double-A season debut, shortstop Levi Jordan. Batting third and tied for the second most home runs in the Southern League with 13, right fielder Owen Casey. Batting cleanup, first baseman Hayden McGeary. Batting fifth, third baseman B.J. Murray. Batting sixth, the catcher Pablo Aliendo. Designated hitter, hitting seventh, Cole Roderer. Left fielder batting eighth, Jordan Wogu. And batting ninth, second baseman Andy Weber. Starting on the mound for the Smokies, making his double-A season debut, is the right-hander Richard Gallardo. Gallardo was slated to start in the Southern League first half finale this past Sunday versus Pensacola, but the game was canceled due to inclement weather. He gets his chance tonight as he makes his second career double-A start. In 2022, Gallardo made his double-A debut in the regular season finale at Chattanooga. In a no decision, he allowed three runs on three solo homers, two walks, and six strikeouts. Two of the three players who homered off Gallardo in his only prior double-A outing are in the lookout starting lineup tonight. Offensively, the Smokies hit five home runs in their final two Southern League first half games, which were both part of a seven inning doubleheader. In their seven games prior, the Smokies had hit a total of five home runs. Smokies cleanup batter Hayden McGeary started his double A career 19 for 84, batting 226 at the plate with six extra base hits and 27 strikeouts. Since then, McGeary is 29 for 75, batting 387 with 10 extra base hits and only 12 strikeouts. For the leadoff man, Pete Crow Armstrong, he's played his best baseball against Chattanooga versus the Lookouts. He's 11 for 29, hitting 379 with four home runs, two doubles, nine runs batted in, and 10 runs scored. A smoky shortstop, Levi Jordan, is in a Tennessee uniform for the first time in 391 days. His double-A season debut could not come against a more favorable opponent. Last season versus Chattanooga, Jordan went 13 for 28 with five doubles, a triple, 11 RBIs, eight walks, eight runs scored, and only four strikeouts. He recorded multiple hits in five of his eight games played against the Lookouts in 2022. 2023, however, has been a rocky road for Levi Jordan. He's been sent by AAA Iowa to the development list five different times and only played in 11 games with the Iowa Cubs this season. He recorded a hit in just one of his last 14 at-bats prior to being assigned to AA Tennessee. Now for the home team, the Chattanooga Lookouts at 38 and 30 overall, the Southern League North first half division champions. Leading off for the Lookouts in center field, Blake Dunn. Batting second on a team best six game hit streak, second baseman Ivan Johnson. Batting third, the right fielder, Reese Hines. Designated hitter, hitting cleanup, James Free. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Alex McGarry. Batting sixth at the hot corner, Nick Northcutt. Batting seventh on a team best 17 game on base streak, the catcher, Daniel Veoheen. Hitting eighth in left field, Quincy McAfee. And the shortstop, batting ninth, Jose Torres. Starting on the mound for the lookouts is the right handed pitcher, Joe Boyle. He's three and five with a 4.80 ERA through 13 starts. Boyle recorded the win in both starts versus Tennessee this season. In fact, his two longest starts of 2023 both came against the Smokies. On April 22nd, he threw five and two-thirds shutout innings on three hits, four walks, and struck out a double-A single-game career high, 12 batters. 
More recently, on June 3rd, Boyle recorded his first career quality start in Double A. In six scoreless frames, he allowed three hits, two, hit two batters, and struck out seven. In all other 12 starts, Boyle walked multiple batters, including at least three in 11 of the 13 starts. Lookout's pitching staff has been dominant. They lead minor league baseball with 817 strikeouts and 24 saves. Offensively, Chattanooga has been hit by 69 pitches, which not only led the Southern League, but is fourth most in minor league baseball. In fact, the Southern League team with the second most HBPs is Rocket City with only 49. It was a tale of two halves in the first half for the Cincinnati Reds AA affiliate. The lookout started the first half 14-18 and with a minus 24 run differential, but finished the first half red hot 24-12 and with a plus 58 run differential. Now Chattanooga outfielder Reese Hines has had a magnificent June. In the first two months of the season, the Lookouts three batter, Reese Hines, went 34 for 165, batting 206 with 17 extra base hits and 24 RBIs. In June, Hines is 27 for 74, hitting 365 with 15 extra base hits and 25 runs batted in. That's only seven fewer hits, two fewer extra base hits, and one more RBI in 91 fewer at bats. Now it's time for tonight's Keys to the Game, brought to you by Hampton Inn and Suites. The Hampton Inn and Suites, located just behind Smokey Stadium, is the proud host hotel of the Tennessee Smokies. The first key is for the Smokies to make their impression felt to begin the second half of the 2023 Southern League season. The Smokies have not won a half-season or full-season division title since 2013, which is the longest active drought not only in the Southern League, but also in the Chicago Cubs organization. The second key is for the Smokies to play it safe on the base paths. Both the Smokies and Lookouts have a bottom 10 stolen base percentage in minor league baseball. I wouldn't expect either team to attempt three stolen bases tonight. All right, that wraps up the Tennessee Smokies Wicked Weed Brewing pregame show. When we return, we'll have Richie Giuliano and Rory Tedimer on the call from AT&T Field in Chattanooga. Game one of Smokies versus Lookouts is coming up next. <laughs> 